Welcome to project 75 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be building a to-do list application by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here you can see we have this input box right here. And if I just type like I'll learn JS and if I hit enter, so here you can see it now gives us this message like item added and it will also gives us this item right here. If you want to remove that, so you can just click on this X. So it will now just remove that and it will also give us this message like item deleted. And if I just forward like something else like, uh, I don't know, uh one two three uh four five and so on and so forth you get the idea we can also add that and if i just click on this x button right here so it allow this is that it's like item deleted so on and so forth okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code so to do that first of all let me just create a folder given name of like o 75 of to do list or yeah i guess that would be fine inside there we are going to be creating three files the first one will be just like index.html the second one will be just style.css and the third one will be f app.js so i'm going to just write app.js so now let me just make that a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code all right so the first thing i'll do is i'll just write like a doc time html and i'm going to just change the title to be like to do list app and i'll just link it with my css and also uh with my javascript okay so now i'm going to just right click on it and open it with the live server so that we are not live all right so inside this body we are going to be just writing a section with a class of container inside this section we are going to be creating a form and we are going to be just removing this um i mean like that action from there and then we are going to be creating our text input and we are going to be just placing our placeholder of like enter a to do okay or lowercase to do would be fine underneath that we are going to be building a div with a class of output output and that's that so if you just save that and this is how it looks like right now okay so now let's just get into our styling and then now let's just style your application a bit so the first thing i would do is i'm going to select everything and I'm going to just remove that margin and also padding and then just write a box sizing or border box. Now let me just get my body. So I want to first of all center everything. So for that we are going to be using a display of flags, justify content of center, align items of also center, 100 VH. And also let's just write our background color and we'll be now set to like blue violet color. And also font family will be just sans serif. So now if you just save that, and this is how it looks like right now. Okay. So now the next thing that you have to do is to get or containers. So now if you want to get that, we are going to be just writing a dot and container. Now let's just give a width of like um, 400 pixels will be fine. And padding will be just to M7. And you can all see that. Let me just give him a background of like a uh, wide 7. And this is how it looks like. All right. So now let me just remove this background from there. Now let me just get my input, which we've uh, wrote right here. Here's our input so inside this input we are going to be just writing a width of like 100 percent and the padding will be just 10 pixel display will be block in this case and outline will be none so once we save that and this is how it looks like right now okay so that's there now the next thing which you have to do is to get our output which is this output and just for like a margin let me just get it output and margin top will be just two m's Okay, and we can all see that because we don't have anything inside there. And then next, we are going to be creating a class for JavaScript, which means like we are going to be using this class in JavaScript, not here. So to do, and let me just write a border left. Border left will be just like a four pixel solid. Come on, solid RGB. And now let's just give them a value of like 34, 34, comma, uh, 187, comma, 51 okay so now let's just close that right here kind of a greenish color and now let's just write our um color of rgb and now let's just write like um 75 75 and also 75 okay so underneath that we are going to be writing a display of totally flex justify content will be like space between and also align items will be center margin bottom will be set to like 1m and font size will be also set to 1m and then we have a background now let's just give a little bit of background of totally white and padding will be from top and bottom 10 pixel and from left and right will be 20 pixels so now if we just save that and we can all see that because we have no to do whatsoever so let's suppose if you just write like um uh, i don't know inside this output area so if you just write like um let's just write uh to do and hello 
Hey, so hello, 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 and this is how it will look like for now. All right, the next thing that you have to do is to write a class for delete. Okay, so we are going to be deleting what to do for that. We are going to be just using like color of blue violet, blue violet, and also let's just write a font weight of ball and cursor will be pointed. So if we just save that, we cannot see that right away, but, but we will see that really soon. You know, I'm gonna write like um. I'm going to remove this true from here so the next class we are going to be selecting is our message container container and and i forgot to show you but which will be this message container uh, i forgot to write a code for it let me just write uh here underneath this section we are going to be writing our message and container and for now you are going to be just writing like item deleted okay so if you just save that and now it's just time there so i'm going to just write a position of absolute and bottom will be just 1.5 rem and then we have a left of like 2 rem and background will be totally white okay and padding i'm gonna just give him like 20 pixel transition i'm gonna give him like translate um translate oh come on not transition transform and we're gonna start to translate to the x-axis and it will be zero okay for now and then we are going to be using visibility visibility of hidden for now but we are going to be providing a little bit of transitions from that transform and one second in ease okay and it should be transform like so all right so that's that you know i'm gonna come in this visibility from now so that we can see all right so here you can see we have this first one and now let's just give them a classes of success and danger so we are going to be using success for now transform i will set to translate and then x axis and it will be set to 100 pixel visibility will be visible okay and now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to just write a background color of that greenish kind of color rgb uh, yeah this one okay and now let me just get my color and it will be now set to totally white so if we just save that nothing's going to happen because we can use this class so now let's just use this class of success right here so if that's success so we want to save it and now here you can see it will now just change its place and that transition will happen you know what we are going to be working that way later so for now let's just get our error class right here and transform will be set to like translate to the x-axis 100 pixel and then we have visibility of visible and also we've got our background color which will be just like rgb and you know i'm going to select um let me just change the value to like two, two, three, and then we have seventy-one right here, and then we have eighty-nine. Okay, so that's that. Now color will be just totally white. So now if you just save that, and that's gonna happen because we give them a class of success. Instead of success, now let's just write like error. So now if you just save that, and here you can see this is how it will look like for now. So I'm gonna just remove this class from here and i'll just hide it for now so now if you save it and that's going to be gone so now we are totally done with the html and css so now let's just jump right into a javascript and provide your interactivity so the first thing i'll get for javascript is i'll just get my format we're going to set to like document dot uh queries come on query selector and now let's just get our form and then the next thing which you have to do is to get our input so i'll just write document dot query selector of input then output so document.query selector of output okay and then you are going to be selecting our message container so we are going to be using document.query selector of uh, message and then container okay so now let's just log everything to the console so that we want to make sure that we select everything now let's just get our input and message in here input and also output as well and now let's just remove that so that's going to be it so now if you save it and open our developer tools so the first thing we have is we have our form and we have our input then we have output and also our message container right here okay so now we are totally good to go now let me just remove those console from there so now let's just create a function of get to do so now i'll just write get to do and i'm going to pass a value as a parameter the first thing i would do is i'll just get or not get but first thing i'll do is i'll just create my to do so for that we are going to be using dev and then let text element will be now set to like document or create element and it will be now set to spin okay so that's then now let's just change the text element i mean like the inner 
HTML of that text element to be like just the value of this parameter right here. Okay, so it will be set to that value. Next thing which you have to do is to get or to do dot append child, and it will be now set to let me just write append child of text element, and now let's just write our message dot class list, and now let's just toggle or class of success. Okay, so that's that. Now the next thing that you have to do is to change the text as well. So now let's just get our message and then text content will be set to like item added. Okay, so item added. You can all see that for now because we can use this function. Okay, so this one will be a success case. And also after two seconds, so you want to remove that class of success. So set timeout. And here the duration will be like 2000 millisecond. And now let's just write um, message. Uh, message dot class list dot toggle. Now let's just provide our success in here. Now we are totally done with the uh, success class. Now the next thing which you have to do is to get or close, not get, let's just create or close element. And it will be now set to like document.create element. And now let's just pass or spend. Okay, now let's just change the inner HTML of it to like um, close. And then we have to just change the inner HTML and it will be now set to uh this html entity so i want to just write like and symbol right here and then times and now I'll close there right here then close dot class list dot add and now let's just uh, give a class of delete in here which we've uh, put right here which is this delete class right there okay so that's that now the next thing that you have to do is attach even listener on that close button so i'm gonna just get my close button come on not console <laughs> uh close element and now let's just uh, provide add event listener on it. So I'm going to just click. And once we click, so we want to fire this function right away. So we are going to be using our output dot remove child. Okay. And here we are going to be passing what to do. Okay. Then we want to get our message dot class list dot toggle of error. Okay. So underneath that, let's just add our text content to be like uh, text content and item deleted. Okay, so in this case we've uh, added item and in this case we are now removing it okay and now the next thing which you have to do is after two seconds so we want set timeout we want to just remove that function that class to be precise so two seconds and now inside that we are going to be getting our message and then class list of toggle error okay so now if you save that now we are pretty much good to go the next thing which you have to do for this function is to just get or to do and then append child of um that close element close element okay and then to do dot class list dot add uh and let's just add or to do class which we've uh created right here let me just show you which is this class right here okay so then finally we are going to be just returning a to do and we are totally done with this function Okay, so it will allow us to just uh, get it to do as the name suggests. So now the next thing which we have to do is that we have to wire up this function on something. So the first thing you do is we will get our form and now let's just attach event listener of submit on it. Okay, so then we are going to be passing our callback function. Okay, <laughs> I just messed up here. Let me just remove that. And now the next thing that you have to do is that we have to just prevent a default. Okay, so that we want to just prevent the default behavior of a browser so if you click on a button or if we do some changes in our browser so we don't want our browser to be reloaded so that's why we are using that event or prevent default okay so let value will be now set to input dot value okay and now the next thing that you have to do is if not value dot trim so you want to remove the empty spaces from there so we just want to return okay so that's that and now if you say so it will make it a one liner then we have a output dot append child and now let's just provide or get to do function in here and we are going to be passing this value which we get from an input and we are now passing that as a parameter to this get to do and here you can see we are now getting the parameter and we are passing the value of like this argument of value right here and finally let's just uh, clear up our input so now if you just save that and if i want to just write something like uh, i don't know something and if i hit enter so here you can see it will say like item added and after two seconds that will be gone and if i just click on this button right here so it will say like item deleted and after two seconds that's going to be gone and if i just put like something else like uh i don't know a one and two three four five 
and this is going to be the default behavior right here so we can now add as many items as you want so if you want to remove that so this is how you just remove that okay and this is how it looks like all right so now we are totally done with our projects so i think that was about tonight's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye